Welcome to BookBeat, the program for aspiring writers who daily beat back the fear of rejection, knowing their chances of achieving success are somewhere between nil and zilch. At BookBeat, we don't criticize and we don't offer false hope. We simply introduce writers to a wrathful public their senses dulled by a hog trough of popular fiction and the regurgitated gruel of equally senseless nonfiction. I jest, of course. But where are the great works? Where is the passion and the originality of a bygone era? The classics live forever, but immortality, alas, is fleeting. Today I want to tell you about a book recently published I happen to be the author of this book. It's nonfiction. The title is 9,000 Dreams. And I'm going to attempt to read the back cover as fast as I can because I'm losing my audience as I sit here. I know how everyone is impatient to get on with it. If a total stranger gave you access to his mind, his dreams, and his darkest secrets, all kept in a journal, spanning 25 years, including an entry for every day, 2,800 plus pages in all, containing over 9,000 dreams. As William Blake famously said, the fool who persists in his folly will become wise. Therein lies the reason for my journal. Twice I found myself in the hospital, seriously injured due to stupidity of the highest order. The victim of my own folly, I decided to double down, determined to seek wisdom where only fools dare tread. What I achieved was a meeting of the minds, conscious and unconscious, searching for the wisdom of understanding, finding that dreams do mirror our waking lives, sometimes even predicting future events. Join me on this quest into the heart of a lucid dream, where an escaped mental patient finds redemption in failed novels and a fool proudly proclaims his freedom from reality in a non-fiction spasm of self-deprecating humor. You'll find me online. This will soon be in Kindle version. And this is the paperback. Thank you for tuning in. Have a pleasant day.